Hello people out there, this is my the Toon Half Series, and this is Pokemon Black Playthrough, or whatever it is. Um, it's been a while since I recorded this, I think it's been about three weeks. Um, I've been busy doing the, um, recover stuff that I lost business. Um, let's see, get my radio team out here. Um, and you, there. Check out you, um, check out you, check out you, check out you, check out you, um, you can go in here, uh, so can you, um, you belong here, <coughs> you belong here, and you, yes, this is the last member of my team, a magic card named Simi Sage belong in there. Now, oops, um, no, not that. I do want to go and put you up front and give you a certain hold item. There. Um, okay. Uh, you may have noticed a few things, like I've got a ton of Pokemon from other generations in there. <clears throat> I told you it's been a while. I've done a lot of stuff with the Dream World and um, the Poke Transfer Lab. Um, let's see. Also, I have found something very interesting, which is a shiny timber. I almost had a heart attack when I found it. Um, I actually didn't notice it was shiny because I didn't really. It wasn't that great a color difference, because, um, shiny timber is yellow, and the regular one is gray, and, yeah. But, then I heard it sparkle, and I almost had a heart attack, because the chances of running into a shiny Pokemon are... somewhat less than running into a... normal Palpitoad. That will KO your level 10 Magikarp. <sighs> anyway, um, that aside, your pal on. Uh, let's see. I just finished setting the clock, yeah, to the nighttime on a, or rather the evening or nighttime, I believe, on a Friday, so. Yeah, now when you come to the T-Blind Bridge, um, yeah, the Black Empoleon, um, no, I don't think so. Fun! Yay, gang fights, not really. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Biker Morgan, Buffalin, oh, I've had enough of these and other stuff. Go, level 10 Magikarp! Anyway, this is actually a different Magikarp from the one that I got from the, um, salesman at... ...wherever that was. Um, this one came from the Dream World, and it's got the move Bounce, which is a Flying-type move, which will be the only Flying-type move that Gyarados can have once it becomes one of those. Uh, and I just wanted to do that to give it the ability to handle some other types of Pokémon. Anyway, mm. yeah, I highly doubt anything like, um, Scary Face is gonna have any effect on who goes first and something like, you're what, how many levels below me anyway? <sighs> yeah, that's so complicated, wasn't it? So now I think there's a few other of these biker guys, um, they would duke it out with the leader, huh? He's somewhere on here. Stop that, Ofer. You're annoying me. Get over here. I think the leader's at the other side, but there are battles. Or not. Nah, whatever. <sighs> um, I'm assuming it's this guy... here. Yeah, oh. So, is it this guy? Ah! 
Absolutely. It is time to face the wrath of a level 14 Magikarp, guys. That's not even evolved. You call yourself a leader? Come on. Anyway, I think the wrath of a level 14 Magikarp, though, can wait for another day. What am I gonna send out? Eh, that'll work. I should have left Magikarp in there, see what he could do. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks, not half bad. <laughs> the team is gonna be named the Black Magikarp. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that is awesome, guys. Madness aside, my own bicycle. Actually, I think I can just fly from here. Um, you can have, um, Actually, not the whatever that was in there. Where's the experience share? Might have to go get for that from the PC. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, switch that. And, um, how about I put you out front? And then, how about we fall back to Indel Town? I can't use that here. Okay, how about we not fall back to Indel Town? Okay. The Black Magikarp. I just had to do that. As soon as I heard that um, the bike gang will name their Pokemon out in front after you, and while it's raining, I'm actually going to try and look for that one legendary Pokemon that likes to hang around. Oh, hey, Hound Tower! That is actually a swarm Pokemon, I believe. Um, you have to go and go um, into the um, the gates between routes and go look for where there's, there's a Pokemon outbreak. And here there's a hand hour. Seems like why not? Um, um, what's it? Tyrogue. Uh, seen some interesting stuff around. I think Jigglypuff. But I'm not sure if that was a um, wild, uh, just a regular wild on uh, like Route 14 or the Swarm or something like that. <clears throat> Come on, get the Pokeball. I am sort of going on a see how much of the Pokedex I can complete. Two, three, gotcha. Anyway, now I'm just gonna stay here until the rain stops. So looking for um. Eh, nah, not now. Come on, where are ya? Maybe it's not raining hard enough, cause like, there's rain and then there's heavy rain. You can check for that here too. See here, Pokemon Network on Route 9, which is where I just was. Um, Route 11, a very unusually strong storm. Anyway, um... That's not too important right now. And Belltown! So anyway, yeah, here, there, here's, um, three main attractions. Besides the Pokemon Center, there's out this way, um, there's a water route and some ruins, the, um, abyssal ruins that you can find the plates and stuff in Dowsing Machine. No, maybe I've been down here already. Where is there's one hidden in the sand? Hmm. Stardust, okay, I can sell that for money. I didn't, no, get off there, thank you. Pearl, okay, I can sell that for money too. And, uh... So yeah, there's some stuff there, I'll be going there once I have Surf. Um, this way, I don't believe there's anyone in here. Um, but over here, talk to him. Yes, um, actually not really, but sure.
That was a short battle, wasn't it? Anyway, um, this guy, um, 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 cutscenes. So yeah, you can come back here, and you can battle him once a day for a week, and every day he, someone else will come and battle them too. Um, yeah, this is his dad, I take it. If you have um, any of the plates, and I think that the plates from the Abyssal Ruins, you can come and sell them for a lot of money, but really, there are a lot of other ways you can get money in this game, and there's a lot better things you can do with the plates. <clears throat> Arceus. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else around here, is there? Um, I will off-screen the next, like, five of those guys in there, and then show on camera the last one. Anyway, here's the other thing that's interesting in this area. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What an uncanny resemblance. Um, surprising me. Another trainer with interesting eyes like that Pokemon trainer. What's your name? Stupid, huh? I'm Cynthia. Cynthia. Alright, you can face Cynthia now or later once a day. I'm going to show you what happens if you face Cynthia now. A happy feeling, huh? Pokemon Trainer Cynthia Spirit Tomb. Um, notice its level. Notice the music too. And I just realized that the um, battle animations are not going. Uh oh. And there's no one else, really, that I can send out against this thing, although I suppose I can heal the- Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
now it's time to um, finish with Milo Tech. I really don't have anyone better to send out because like a level 21 Magikarp against level 75 Milo Tech. Yeah. Ice type, yeah. Bye, Zoelius. Alright. I could try and revive people, but I don't think that's going to work very well. Actually, let's. I'm not going to waste any max revives. I don't even know if I have any of those left. Do we? That was a very swift death. Ouch. So! That is what happens if you battle Cynthia now. <clears throat> anyway. I'm slacking off. I just took an AP exam today. I don't feel like... Oh my god, I went back along. I don't feel like doing any work right now. Anyway. Um, no, I do not want to open the Pokédex. Um... So going back to Umbella Town. And not battling Cynthia. <clears throat> um too bad the magic card didn't evolve. Uh yeah. Oops. I guess I lost the battle, so um, there will be no evolutions going or anything. Anyway, um, let's see. Anything? No, I can't go up that way right now. It's a one-way trip. And the super pill, where is this item? Okay, it's down there. Oh, hey, trainer! Okay. <clears throat> Such a weird noise it makes. <laughs> Simi Sage evolves into Gyarados. Okay, that makes sense. Almost as much sense as the Black Magikarp. <clears throat> Dragon Rage, alright. Um, I guess I'll keep the experience share on the big fishy thing for a while, because it's so not evenly leveled. Anyway, um, you have battle, don't you? Yes, you do. You and your full restores. Anyway, um... I think now is a good time to turn the battle animations back on. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so the battle machine is still picking up that one thing down there. You!
All right. <clears throat> Plus one mining. About as bad as pseudo Voodoo when it came to gimmicky Pokemon. What's this? The Pokeball with an Electrizer in it. Okay. Evolve, um... Electabuzz into... Electrive. Guess I didn't have a pawn. Um, let's see. Down here. Oh, that must have been a shaking spot. Alright, what else is this? Okay, strength. Um, something behind this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. This really just looks so funny. TM29 Psychic, okay. <clears throat> now it falls effect bore off. No, it didn't. Um, hang on, uh, also, something I better do, which I've been not doing for way too long, uh, surf, Gyarados can learn it, there you are, what's the surf, can't move more than four moves, what do I want to forget, I don't know, splash, Gyarados has learned splash, no, Get us to learn surf, not splash. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright. Another stardust, okay. <clears throat> not bad at all. Another stardust, okay. Not bad at all. What? What's this now? A pearl, alright. Sounds like that's all. So, um, uh, black belt guy. Not really? Alright, you're walking on the sandy beach and got your butt kicked. How's that sound? Anything else around here? No, not really. I should go heal, but... Hey. Um... Alright, why don't I go surf out there once I... now that I finally can. Excuse me a minute. Stupid school calling about the yearbook. I like how a wild battle did more damage to me than a trainer battle. <sighs> I also like how you can use a fly from a Pokemon that's fainted. So, anyway. Mm hmm. Moon Rook is such a good healing item. Um, the letter I mailed fall from the sky. Uh, I don't know. Whoever is carrying it is not very good grip. I don't know. More about that later.
Okay. You didn't actually attack me any there. Um. Yep, they went there. Anyway, I repelled the sector off, that's nice. You know, just for fun, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, shelter. Interesting. Turkey ball number 691. One, two, three. Alright, add another entry to the Pokédex. Yeah. Bivalve. Its large tongue is always kept hanging out. Yeah, let's not name this thing. Alright, that was an interesting experience. Moving along. You. Um, a letter fell from the sky, huh? Whoa. Oh, come on, they're gonna make me surf all the way around this big rock because the character is too lazy to step around it. Whatever. <clears throat> but I do know that there's something down there. Um. This is this. Prism scale, okay, I don't remember what that does. And let's see what else is around here. Alright, if I do that. Oh, so this is a shortcut, huh? Oh yeah. This is um Giant Chasm. I will be coming back here later. There's something very important there. And you can find wild metagross, which is kind of nice. So, um, repels effect off. That was quick. Guess that's what happens when I only use super repels. Alright, Tentacruel is so specially defensive. Anyway, um, let's see. Hope we don't run into anything wild because I don't have a repel up. Anyway, yeah. So up here, remember those letters falling out of the sky? Um, yeah, I lost 3 grams in Route 13. I believe 
One of them is right here. If you find them all, you get something. I don't know what you get, because I don't think I ever found them all. Um, as dumb as that is. The hidden item, I think, is, um, one of them. Razor Claw, hmm. Oh, so, um, that's one. Non-hidden item. That would be Gram 2. Uh, that would be something down there. And that would be a youngster. Metapod, the farting Pokemon. Anyway, um... The other grams, huh? Alright, something hidden in the wall. Heart scale, okay. I have been using a number of those lately for um, the movie learner. And repel were off. No, it didn't. Um, I think there's actually something interesting in this house. Um, if you're familiar with a certain brand of move tutoring, yeah, this is the, um, Starter exclusive ultra powerful elemental moves <clears throat> Blast Burn, Frenzy Plant, and Hydro Cannon? Is it? And why do I do that? But they like Hyper Beam but Elemental, so. I've used um, Blast Burn before, I didn't like it that much. Recharge turns really bother me. Uh, pearl string, okay. I think that's something else you can sell to that guy back on, um, in Delatown. This is Dive, okay. Uh, Splash Play, okay. That's one of them. Uh, Draco Play, okay. And, say there's more, yeah. I actually don't remember where you get, um, the HM for Dive. I really need to go, um, find out where you can go get the other, uh, grams for the thing of... Anyway, um... Should I risk going in here? No. There are a lot of other things around here to explore with, um, Surf. Let's see. Hello, Kelly. Deep Sea Scale, okay. Evolve Clamper into something. Uh... Kelly, what are you doing? Don't ask. Anyway, um, I'll look up where you get the rest of the grams later. Oh, by the way, um, guy in sunglasses. He does something. I think if you talk to him once a day, he'll give you an item. Yeah. Shoal salt. Okay. Um, what that does, I don't remember. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Um, 
no random oh come on uh, stupid random encounters anyway that's about a lot of video here so I guess that's it for this part of the playthrough um, what's the next part whatever that is whenever I upload it um, stuff like that Great, comment, subscribe. See you later.